paintings of your grand grandfather were coming back to Poland. And the train was bombed, and the Polish villagers, what I understood, robbed the, the train, and they had boxes, crates with the paintings. the work of my great-grandfather, Moshe Ranetsky, and I'm wondering if you've ever seen work by him. He was a Jewish painter in Warsaw in the interwar years. Somebody told me I should come to Kolo Bazaar and that I might see something, and so I'm curious. Impossible. And so, impossible. No. No, mm. never? Okay. What's very special from my point of view of Moshe Rineski's work is that he comes from a religious family and from a very intact and very rich and deep Jewish milieu. And that served as a great source of inspiration. It's the traditional world refracted through a modern sensibility. In fact, such a collection, presentation, and such an interest in Jewish life is unique. I think that Rineski helped us not to recreate, but to think about the Jewish life differently. Works come out from the habits of being unknown through work of people, of living people. Through your work and the web page that you have and the research that you are doing, I think this is the, always the mechanism. When I learned a number of years ago that not only had other pieces survived, but that you guys had 52 of them, it was this jaw-dropping moment. It's amazing. He's my great-grandpa. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you know, I think that, that some people, when they come looking for paintings, are, are here to reclaim paintings. I'm not here to reclaim the paintings. Yes, of I, um, I'm here. I'm here as a historian. It's still a possibility that we can find somewhere, you know, new pieces in Poland. I have never seen this one. That's fantastic. 